Y'all, I had the, okay, I'm, get, I'm in the middle of getting ready. And you know what? I literally looked at the date and bitch, wow. You guys, it has been a fucking year. A year, like literally a year. So I'm gonna go ahead and record this New Year's video. I'm literally getting ready to go do a shoot. And I was like, you know what? I miss you guys so fucking much. I wanna get on here and say hi. I haven't posted a video in like a week and I'm so sorry, but you guys, there's some cool things coming up very, 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 very soon. RuPaul's Drag Race reviews and things like that and also beauty. But right now, this is between me and you. The beauty world right now, I feel like all the brands are very quiet. They're very like, like, I don't wanna release anything until next year. So that's why right now it's very slow. It's the holidays. People are kind of just kind of uh, getting together, finishing their gatherings and things like that. Also dealing with COVID, also dealing with work and things. It's just so much happening right now this month that I feel like the beauty world is kind of like quiet and very, very like shh. You know, so that being said, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and play with some makeup today. This is gonna be my final fucking video of 2020. Oh my God, this is so nuts. I, I honestly, we have to cheers to that. Now, y'all, I don't drink, I don't drink champagne. I'm gonna give me some white wine. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, so if you guys are at home right now, getting ready with me, playing around, getting ready for New Year's or whatnot, what is the situation? Cheers to the motherfucking new year. Cheers to the old year 2020. Goodbye. Thank you so much for raising me and teaching me so many different fucking things that I needed to know in my lifetime. This definitely was the year of education. <sighs> wow. I'm telling you, I'm gonna start drinking at home. People are like, why would you smoke? Why would you smoke controls your anxiety? No, I need a drink. Wow. Cheers to that bitch, you guys. 2020 has taught me so many different things and we're gonna go ahead and just kind of conversate back and forth today. This isn't new, but I wanted to get on here and let you guys know, cause y'all know I don't be doing skincare videos. Like I can't sit here and tell you this skincare is popping and you know what I mean? I feel like skincare is so important and it's one of those things like a lot of people spend their whole lives to find the best skincare. But I wanted to get in here and let you guys know, Morphe 2 just came out with a skincare line. They sent this over to my house a few weeks ago. I, it's been sitting here, I'm so sorry, I haven't been using it. Uh, but they have a, a lot of skincare. They have the new Bubbly, Fr uh, Bubbly Fresh Gel Cleanser. So this is the cleanser. Um, so you guys can use that, you know, cleanse your face to death, you know, very that, very get ready in the morning, put, you know, cleanse your face before the cosmetics. They have, the Total Softy Gel Moisturizer, which by the way is so cunt. I mean, can we just talk about the fucking packaging? It's so cute. Um, uh, this is called Lil Pick Me Up 3-in-1 Face Mist. Oh, I love a little face mist. Um, so uh, I love the coloration, very cute. Um, and then last but not least, they do have the Restart Detox Face Mask, which by the way, I will be putting this on my face because I am such a mask girl. I, I love masks. Now, do I think all masks do the same things? No. Do I think a lot of masks suck? Yes, I do. I think mask is a very, just one of those things where people are like, oh my God, I do masks. You're amazing. But I'm like, is it really that amazing? Or you just think you're amazing because you're pampering yourself. What is the tea? What is going on? So I will uh, definitely uh, try this today. And in the community, in my channel, I will be writing on what I think about these products. Okay. Um, but if you guys are wanting to get it, you guys can go to morphe.com and use my code Kimora at the end of the purchase. That'd be so highly appreciated. You guys, honestly, I've been hearing a lot of people using my code. It's so amazing how you guys literally that those little things to, uh, lets me know that you guys support me um, especially me just trying to come up in this beauty industry and really just really hone into this beauty world it just lets me know like I'm in the light and people are uh, just really remembering me when they shop for makeup so if you guys want to go jump over to Morphe to purchase these I actually probably think this is gonna be great the mist is pretty cool now the cleanse I will use and I'll let you guys know in the community um, what I think about it okay that being said y'all I'm already go y'all over here like Miss Kimura you're already over here getting ready eyeshadows are already done girl you know I ain't done I don't walk at the house like this <sighs> let me take another drink <sighs> so get up closer so you guys, today I am just gonna play with a few things. So the other day, uh, actually a few months ago, I, I jumped into the Morphe store. I picked up this Jaclyn Hill Ring the Alarm palette. And when I tell you like, 
First of all, I truly think Jaclyn Hill palettes are just the best in Morphe. Yes, bitch, I fucking said it. Jaclyn Hill palettes are the best palettes in Morphe stores. I'm not playing around. I don't really still to this day don't know who Jaclyn Hill is and why she is who she is besides someone that loves interior design and shows off her house all day. I think she's the sweetest girl ever though. I do love her personality, but I, you know, like I said, y'all know me very well. When it comes to knowing people's birthdays and shit, I don't fucking know that stuff. But when I tell you, Jaclyn Hill uh, palettes are just the best. Like the colors, the choices, the moods. If I came out with my own palette line, like I always say, it would be very, it would resemble a lot of Jaclyn Hill style. Um, just because I feel like her palettes are just that fucking bitch. Like, I'm sorry, all the other brands in Morphe, I don't think so. I don't think it ever, there's no comparison. That being said, so let's go ahead and get some of this color Rush. So I've been using like, this color Rush a lot. This is all over my lid right here. And then I do a lot of mugshot, alert, and I kind of, if I want to go darker, I do a little secret. So I'm just going to get this on because today, you guys, I'm going to do a crease that I just recently saw from Nikita Dragon. She literally just did a release today. Where the fuck is my phone? Um, she did a release today on her new setting powders, which by the way, do we have enough setting powders? Like, oh my God, like I can't even tell you what is what is new and new is what. Um, but there are just so many setting powders. I'm still on Laura Mercier, you know what I mean? Like, I, oh my God, no, know. No. She did this photo shoot, which is by the way, she looks fucking sickening. I prefer the yellow wig over the rest, but I absolutely love this. And I just fell in love with this, uh, this cut crease, you know, like this kind of like white, black kind of thing. I don't know, I'm not really a big, big, big fan of black in the crease, but I think I want to do something on that lungs of that line, you know, that kind of white. Oh, hi, politics news. Thank you for the uh, $2,000 stimulus check that we're never going to get. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to print screen it, and then I'm just going to zoom in. So I'm going to do something like this. I think this is kind of cute, right? I think that's kind of cut. She looks so gorgeous. Um, so mine's going to be similar to that. So I'm just going to take some of these colors. I'm just going to really blend it. I'm going to soft blend it in there to really give you like that, that perfect kind of crease moment okay so just getting that brush um but yeah you guys 2020 i can't believe we are just done with the year i mean honestly this year has been one of those years you know you know what it is i hate when people are saying um what a waste of a year you know i mean i know i was saying that in the beginning because i was just so angry about a lot of things throughout the year but i was actually very thankful for this year i think this year has taught me not only about covid not about pandemic not about what the country is about because our country fucking sucks um just i was really alert and you know putting my thoughts in my comments and my way of thinking aside and things like that i just think this year it, it taught me a lot as a person it taught me a lot what life means um a lot of people have a loved one gone a lot of people have a loved one fucking dead because of covid uh, you know and then also a lot of people are affected the, the world has shifted this year i think when it comes to you know internet bullying and internet opinions and you know we get very to that point where we want to we want to speak our minds we get it we all want to speak our minds and this year has taught me that don't speak your mind too fast listen first and then really explain and explain yourself I think that's the key. I think we are very personal. Hold on, I can't talk and do this liner. You guys are probably like, this bitch can't talk and do her liner. Not only I was able to educate myself on everything that happened this year, but it made me grow as a person. And along the way, I lost a lot of friends. I lost touch with a lot of friends. And it's not because I'm not their friend anymore. It's just because I came to the point where I just don't really need to feed into energy that I don't want to be around. I don't know, maybe this year I became very spiritual, but like, I just don't connect. I connect with energy. And yes, people are like, oh, that's the Sagittarius in you and all this. Yeah, we know, whatever you want to call it. All I know is if your energy sucks, I'm not going to be around you. I respect you as a person, but I just don't want to be around certain energy. And there's a lot of people that I kind of stopped talking to. It is not because they did something wrong or anything like that. No, 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 nothing at all. And I hope in the future our energies can shift and we can connect. But in the comments down below, let me know what you guys think. Is that something you guys do? Is that something you guys believe in? Like energy? I'm, a, I'm an energy queen. And when it comes to a lot of people on social media, I just think it's really, really hard to figure out people's energy, you know? And then a lot of people that I know in person, their energy is just so different. And I just, I just chose 
a different road and just to not really be there anymore. That was one I wanted to get off my chest and let you guys know that this year has taught me a lot as a person and really um, informed me with a lot of things. And I just, I'm, I'm in a good place right now. That being said, I think my crease is dark enough now, I want to look for a brush that's very tight, like this. I think this is kind of cool, like something like this. And we're going to take this color called Frame, and we're just going to really deepen up this lid because we're going to go in and we're going to really cut all this. I want all this cut. Ooh, that's a fucking sickening color. So yeah, go ahead and just really deepen it. You guys, I'm using a color called Siren. I don't really want to use black because my skin tone is really warm. So this is kind of like my black color. It's like the dark burgundy color, which I just think it looks really good on like super tan skin. Black on me, it's like, I don't know. Remember I used to wear a lot of fucking black in the beginning of the videos, but now it's like, I don't know. I've been on this like natural, very soft kind of vibe. But I mean, who knows? I might change in a few weeks, so. Now that we have that, so you guys see this floating crease happening, la 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 la, perfect, we did that. I'm so happy I got in here and to able to talk to you guys. So what I wanna do is, I think I am gonna go ahead and use a little P. Louise. Now, you guys have been buying these on P. Louise, um, and you guys have been using my code for these, cuts, uh, these cut creasers. Thank you so much, you guys. I'm gonna do this, but I really wanna pack it on with like maybe this one. So I got this. Um, this is also a Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the Dark Magic palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this color right here. It's very vanilla-y. And then let's see how white that goes, because um, I really, really wanna kind of do really, really white. I want white. Like I want it to look very different from my skin color. Usually I like to do creases with like a with like a flesh tone color, but I do want today to be a little lighter than it is. So let's kind of let's cut this crease. Okay, so it's just like that. So we get that all over. See so you guys do the P. Louise. You can just do it like once, and it's just like perfect. Wow. See you guys. That P. Louise. <laughs> this is everything, girl. This is so, so. You guys need to know this color is called Blank Canvas, and it's just. The doll, God, it's just amazing. Oh my God, look at that. Ah, uh, high cut crease. I mean, I feel like I do this eye all the time. I don't know why it looks so good on her, but I was like, when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's the eye. That is the eye today. Okay, so we really, 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 really want my lid to be white. I want, see, this is like flesh tone for me. Like it's too safe. So let's go ahead and see what that color looks like. Okay, I like the color, but I kind of think I need to go a little whiter. It's a little too safe. Like, this is what I would wear just to go out. Yeah, I think that's way too safe. So, change of plans. Let's go ahead and pull out a white color. Oh, see? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. I mean, actually, I kind of want it to be whiter. It's not white enough. Okay, so I think we're going to have to actually pull white. That's a pretty lid color though. Um, okay, let's go and try to get a white. Is there one in the Book of Magic? No. Um, this one's from Colourpop. And there's a white in here called Lux. And I think it's gonna do the motherfucking trick. Oh, yes, mama, that's it. That is it. Wow. Oh, yes. Wow. Ooh, look at that. So fucking cunt. And I like how it's like kind of nude here and it goes into the white. That's kind of cool. I'm gonna leave it just like that. This could be like my New Year's fucking glam girl. Wow, how is that, y'all? Wow, babe, we fucking did that. <laughs> I did not know I can do that. Okay, let's go ahead and get some color underneath. I'm into these shades. This color called Gravity Hill. Let's pull that out. Oh, look at that bit. That's sickening. These shades are fucking beautiful. Oh my God, how fucking beautiful. I was gonna do a color underneath, but I just saw this like maroon shade. It's so fucking stunning. Obviously, New Year's is here and I didn't even set any goals for myself. So in the comments, you guys, what kind of goals do you guys have? I'm never gonna delete this video. So you guys need to go back and check out your comments. You can check your res uh, resolution. You guys can definitely can. You know what it is? When I, every time I do resolution goals, like I always do it in notepad. I always put it in like a notepad and I go back like a year or a six months later to kind of see if I did the thing. And I have not did anything I said last year. Um, <laughs> So I was like, you know what? This year, I'm just gonna not set myself a huge goal and just kind of go with it. 
You know what I mean? I feel like goals, like, if it's too hard, you're not gonna do it. Oh, you guys, I'm so obsessed with this makeup. So we're gonna do the fun part. The fun part's going to be the liner, because in her, she does the liner. I know she added black. Should I add a little bit of black? Yeah, I should. I should do a little black, because we have the black liner. So, oh, that was the wrong fucking brush. We're gonna go ahead and dip into this shade called Obsidian, I think. Let's do black. And really press that black lightly underneath. Just press it softly. Oh, wow, you guys. ColourPop eyeshadows are just so underrated, I think. Wow, their shadows are so good. Okay, so yeah, I think the black definitely gave it a little kick. So that's enough black. I'm not gonna do so much black, you guys, because I really, really don't wanna do a lot of black. So we're gonna go ahead and now do a liner. I want the liner to be very strong, you guys. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a liner. This is not the liner I was imagining, but obviously our eye shades are different. And it's kind of cut. You see this skippy thing? I just hate when it does that. Oh my God, am I messing it up? Ah, oh, this liner is not my friend. Okay, let's pull on another one. You guys, tip and trick of the year. Make sure you have more than one liner. Okay, that's better. The liner to go a little thicker, so it's kind of like very dramatic. Okay, that's, this is where I always fuck up. And then you guys, when you guys are doing liner, I know everyone does liner different. I always like to start kind of s slow and tiny, and I like to kind of build onto it if you want to make it thicker. Oh my god, I just realized my fucking lashes are white as shit. <gasps> oh, why is it skipping again? Where's my liner? Okay, grab another liner. We're gonna put the liner into the crease. Very thin line, you guys, okay? So this is where it's gonna get a little tricky. You don't wanna do so much. Make sure your liner is very moist. See? This is gonna really sharpen out that crease. I think this is the best crease I've ever done. How's that? Oh, bitch, I did it. You know what's different? See this point? Compared to this point, it's this, I prefer this side. This side looks a little janky, or whatever. And I feel like this side needs to come out like this. Oh yeah, way fucking better. I'm very obsessed with my eyes right now. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get these lashes black, you guys, because this is kind of ridiculous. I look nuts. I really hope next year is like a lot better than this year, to be honest. I really do hope that, you know, and I hope people that have been through something this year recover very soon, you know, like the other day I got in my life, you know, and I just think about like how many people have lost something this year something or someone you know like it just fucking sucks and i really really hope everyone recovers when it comes to people not are not as fortunate um you want to find ways to kind of do your part and to really give back to the community and you really not community but give back to the world give back to the people um so fine i know right now a lot of places are not taking donations and cans and foods and clothing and whatever whatnot um because of the covid um so in your area just uh, i did this thing where you look up the certain places uh, online and look up what you can donate as in money and funds and things like that um and you might be lucky enough to go to a place where you can donate canned food and things like that so i wanted to put that in this video um, because I just thought it was really important. I went on my lives the other day and I was just talking about how important that is to kind of just, you know, we just finished the holidays and a lot of people right now do not have anyone to share the holidays with and it sucks. But just know like Kimora Black is thinking about you and I'm putting out as much energy out into the world for everyone that's going through something right now. So cheers to that and just, yeah, wow. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and slap on some lashes i'm gonna pick out a colored lip and then i will be showing you guys the final my final new year's look the final makeup of 2020. hi cheers to the new fucking year you guys bitches ah <sighs> <laughs> Wow, I, first of all, I would never thought I was gonna end a year with a pink lip because y'all know I don't fucking wear pink lips. Like, it's just not my thing. It's just, but I'm, I don't know, for some reason I'm kind of gagged. And I decided to do a little wet look, just a very, very that moment, you know, with a little bit of root. Like, I wanna look like I just gotta go get my roots done, you know what I mean? <laughs> you guys, happy motherfucking end of the year. Happy New Year's, happy, oh God, it's a new fucking year. I am so fucking happy for the new year. You guys, 2021 is about to be the year. I know we've had a long 2020. It's been elections, Black Lives Matter, COVID, 
um, I mean, I'm pretty sure you and you, you and me, you guys, we have made some decisions this year that has affected our lives. Um, I'm just very blessed to not only have amazing friends, amazing family, amazing husband, um, and just have you guys to be in my life. You know, you guys are, you guys keep me strong. You know, whether you guys, what are you guys, what, I, I don't want this to come off a certain way, but I think, you know, I wake up every day, I check my social media, my YouTube, I check the comments, and you guys are the reason why that I put a smile on my face all the time. Um, when I read beautiful comments and just people that are being positive and not negative, it just puts me in a good light. It makes me let me know that I am doing something right for you guys and myself. Um, so I want you guys to just go out there, let's start the fucking 2021 positive and just go light up someone's uh, life. I, I really do hope 2021 is going to be the year that it's going to be not only the year that we want because we want to go do things and go outside without a mask or you know things like that it's not the, not because of that it's because what we know and what we have done this year that's what's going to make us a better person this uh, 2021 coming up so i want you guys to know that um be a strong bitch you're a fucking bad fucking strong bitch no one's going to tell you nothing oh and always you are the only one that matters. I'm speaking this from, from personal experience. Don't let anybody tell you what to do. Make your own decisions. You don't owe nobody an explanation. Don't do anything to make anyone else happy. Be kind to others, unless they're a bitch to you, then you know, cuss them out for five seconds. Subscribe to my channel. Um, And that, there you go. Cheers to 2020. Cheers to 2021. And may 2021 be just the motherfucking year. I have a lot of things planned for 2021 in store. It's gonna be my time, you guys. I know you guys have, a lot of people have been sleeping on me and a lot of people have been kind of waiting on me what I'm gonna do next, but it is gonna be my year. And remember, I will always remember the people that did not give me the time until I did something. Cheers to that. 2021, I'm gonna make you my motherfucking bitch.